a beautiful morning. Hello everyone, today it's time to take my Volkswagen Golf City Strummer for a ride here. And my plan is just to measure the consumption. So first of all, I will charge it up to 100% and then we are going to take off here. And yeah, the weather is just perfect right now, but we are expecting pretty high winds later on and also some rain. So I think that uh, why not just do this in the morning now when the weather is just perfect. So let's uh, start this up. So here it is standing waiting for me and uh, well it's a little messy inside here right now. I have an off-grid project going on there and uh, I have also done a lot of work here with a tractor that I did found in an old shed. But uh, yeah, I am going to clean this up. But uh, here is the car and I am going to start to charge it first of all. And my Passat GT is just filled up. So uh, let's go in and put this in my... Golf City Strummer instead. Here we go. Some pure solar power. And we are charging. And here we are a few hours later and we are almost filled up to 100%. So the state of charge will not go up to 100, it will stop at 97% uh, due to the fact that we only charge the battery cells to 4.15 volts per cell. And by doing so, the battery will last a lot longer. So every car manufacturer out there, they used to have those voltages that uh, you spare around 10% in the top end and uh, maybe 15 percent in the lower end just to uh, give the battery a lot of more cycles so that's why however let's uh, look in the trunk here because i have a meter there because this car scan wrap cannot calculate the kilowatt hours per kilometer so uh, what i have done is that i have put in a power meter in the trunk here i will show you that right now so here we have that one and uh, right at this moment it is disconnected because I am charging the battery and I don't want to have some um, strange numbers there. However, uh, the way that this one is working is that it can only handle a voltage up to 300 volts and uh, that's a little too low. So I am uh, having almost 400 volts when this battery is fully charged as you did see there. So uh, what I have done here is that I have connected this power meter in the middle of the battery modules. I have eight battery modules with 12 cells in each. Therefore, I connected it in the middle. So we only will have the half of the voltage to this meter. And uh, what's happening there is also that it will only calculate the half of the kilowatt hours. So when this trip is over, I just have to multiply the kilowatt hours by two and then we will have the correct numbers for the consumption. Uh, a little odd way to do this, but I don't see any other way to actually do this. And uh, the meter here, I bought that from Amazon. It's pretty cheap. It's a kind of hobby meter, but this is a hobby. And I think that it is uh, good enough for this uh, test anyway. Uh, by the way, if you know an app that will do the calculations with only the BMS hooked up to it, not the whole car, you have to keep in mind that this kilowatt hour calculation had been working if I had this connected to a complete leaf car. Uh, so you need some other uh, uh, parameters there, I guess. But if you have knowledge about an other app that can do the calculations together with a leaf conversion setup like I have here. Please let me know down in the comments. Anyway, now you know how I plan to do the energy calculations here. So let's uh, take this baby on the outside.
So now the meter are activated and you can see that we have 197 volts and uh, 10 kilowatt hours at the moment. So I will just reset that. Like so. And let's go driving. All right. So I normally always start on the third gear and go up, just like a normal fossil car. I did just forget to <laughs> reset the odometer, but I know that I had two kilometers to this place, so we are good to go. We just have to add two kilometers here, no problem whatsoever. I think that somebody knows me. <laughs> I don't know who he is. <laughs> so <laughs> there is a guy in a pole star behind me and he has been blinking and uh, waving to me and everything. And uh, I'm not really sure about who he is. Yeah, he's after me. Let's see who this is. Hallå. Hallå. Nu det tog ju en sekund innan jag fattade vem det var. Jag kör upp där. Ja, yeah, that was an old friend and uh, he did recognize me uh, because of the car. So he's following me on YouTube and that was really nice to see him in, in real life. Uh, we have been friends for uh, how long is it? I think it's almost 30 years. <laughs> so it's a really long time since I s did see him the last time. Nice to see you. So it's a good feeling to be home again. I have now traveled 164 kilometers, 162 according to the odometer, but I did forgot to reset 
the meter there uh, when I started this uh, test. But now I just have to add two kilometers and then we'll be just fine. So let's go out and take a look at the power meter that I have in my trunk here and see how many kilowatt hours that have left my battery. So there we have the number, exactly 10 kilowatt hours. That's a little strange. Well, actually we have to multiply this by two, of course, because as I said there in the beginning of this video, this meter here are connected in the middle of the battery pack here. And it is not recommended at all to have the meter hooked up to the battery pack like this, because in the long term, this will cause imbalance in the battery pack. I just wanted you to know that. So now we just have to multiply 10 kilowatt hours by two and that's 20 kilowatt hours. And then we need to take 164 kilometer and divide that to those 20 kilowatt hours. And we will then have 1.22 kilowatt hours for every 10 kilometers. Sorry for the wind noise. Uh, as I said there, 1.22 kilowatt hours for every 10 kilometers. That's a really good number for a homemade electric car. So there we have it. Thank you so much guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, comments down below. I hope I see you next time. Take care and goodbye.